Welcome back to the Roy Garage. Today we're going to take you guys on a walk around our engine run stand and show you how we wired it up. We started off with a Harbor Freight engine run stand. It wasn't the smallest one because they didn't have them available, so we had to go one level up. We had some extra steel laying around, so we welded up these brackets. Then we attached these braces going across with a bolt and a self-tapping screw. We made these brackets here so that we could run some steel going up and we added in some triangular supports. We also added in this grate so we had a good spot for a battery to rest on. We used this extra steel because there's these slots. That's if you want to run a radiator. Uh, today we are just going to be making sure our engine runs um, so we will not be hooking up a radiator. And then the last piece of steel uh, we added were these angled pieces here so that we could uh, cut out a piece of wood for our gauges. A few components we're using today is a master disconnect, an ignition panel, fuse block, an inline fuse for added safety, and an electric fuel pump. First thing you're going to want to do is hook your positive up to your starter. From there you're going to want to supply power to your battery disconnect. You can go directly from the battery. Uh, for us, it just worked better to go off the starter. So ours goes here up to our battery disconnect, and that is where we have our inline fuse connected. We got our positive going to our breaker box. From there, we've got power that's going to go to our switches. The next thing we're going to do is set up our on-off switch and our push start. So we've got power running to the bottom of our on-off switch. From our on off switch we go to a junction that splits over to our push start and this goes to the distributor. Next we have this relay switch going all the way to our starter. Next we need to ground our on off switch and our start button. These grounds come from here and here. We splice them together and connect them to our ground. Next is our accessories. There's three options here. You can use a fuel pump, um, an electric fan, an electric water pump. For us, we're just hooking up an electric fuel pump. Let's show you guys how we did that. We have our hot lead coming from our breaker all the way over to our first switch. And then we've got this wire it comes along here all the way down to our fuel pump and it's grounded to the frame. When you're hooking up an electric fan, or an electric water pump. You can hook up a relay so that once it gets to a certain temp, everything turns on. Or if you're just doing something quick, you can just wire it in, just like our electric fuel pump. Switch that on, fan's always on, water pump is on as well. Man, these look sharp. Oh, hey, yeah, those uh, valve covers might look sharp, but uh, these new sweatshirts we got coming out today, they're just as sharp and they come in a t-shirt and we got something stylish for you. If you watch to the end, there's a coupon. So make sure you do that. Let's get back to the action. Your ground can come from many different locations. Um, we found this spot right here on our block. Sometimes it goes right off of the uh, alternator, uh, but we tested this and it works really well. So ground from the block to the negative on our battery. Before we get this engine started, if you have any questions, leave those in the comments below. And if you want to follow the journey of us putting this 350 in the El Camino, make sure you like and subscribe. This engine and exhaust used to be in a different project that we worked on. And if you want to hear how it sounded in that project, click the link in the upper right corner. This on, we know we got power. Fuel pump, there we go. I think the timing is just off just the slightest. We shouldn't want to keep. Yeah, it works though. Well, you guys saw it for yourself. Uh, that's how we put together this engine run stand and wired it up. 
So make sure you hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on next week's episode of Leroy Garage.